I'm very blessed to come back to a venue like this after being here way back in the old days of 86, which we thought was quite a new modern ground and great drainage, infrastructure and technology. And, and when you come out here now, that just blows it out of the park. The pitch is obviously the key focus of the stadium. And that, that's where all the action happens. The standard of play has gone up. So is the standard of sporting surfaces. That's the job we've got to keep in sync with those guys. We're very lucky to build up a good relationship with our turf producers and get a handle on the turf species and the variety that was going to go in. We have Agridar Cooch. It's very hardy. It has the ability to recover really quick. It's a proven performer for us. You can play on it straight away. There's no anchor time or established time needed because we establish it on the farm fit for play. During the install phase, you've got to come in and work with the guys to the install so we could put our maintenance practices into place early so we could hit the ground running for when it opened. Unlike the conventional fields where they used to have like a metre of sand, our total depth is about 350 mil. We have a synthetic reinforcement through the surf so it'll never tear up. It'll scuff on top but you'll never break through and, and the players won't go down to their ankles or their knees. In the next two or three months if we are worn and we had to replace an area, there's no bedding in time. It's got to look just like this. You've just so got to know that it's perfect when you get it. And that's the benefit of knowing what's happening at the farm. We're always looking at improved turf species, technology, etc. It's a whole lot of things go into the pot to come up with our management strategy, the assistance of our grow lights, growth covers, drainage, aeration, head to head control sprinkler. The mower that cuts this ground is worth $87,000. Our shade issues were always going to be a problem at our northern end. How we manage that is just through experience and having the right technology. We've got uh, a ventilation and vacuum system, first in Australia from a stadium perspective. If it pours before the game, the ability to be able to suck that moisture straight out, and then the ability to be able to place hot air in through the, the root infrastructure means that the turf should maintain a really strong growth period. It's not temperature for turf, it's light. As soon as you shut the light out of the plant, it goes into shutdown. Shaded turf, like fully covered, will lose 24% of its colour, which is the chlorophyll, in 24 hours. The lamps that we have here at the moment are actually grow lights to sustain longer growing hours for the turf. Everyone wants a pristine surface like this constantly, so it's all about thinking about the hira coming in after the one you've just had. It can be flat and hammered after a concert. We can change the appearance in the turf with nutrition uptake in two hours. You can put a brew down before your flooring goes down. The day after, vac cleaned up, get rid of the colour products, it looks like you haven't had a concert. It's a big challenge and it's a various coach. Have you heard a rugby league double header and you've got A League or rugby the following weekend? They all want a consistent surface. We're just as competitive as the players, like in, in producing the surface. And that's what keeps you turning up. It's a passion, it's a passion for producing a good playing surface.